if you're new here, then welcome. We're Carol and Ken, and there's 24 more episodes already published to this series. Check out this playlist for more. one this morning. It was cold last night I thought. Yeah. Get out before anyone else is around and you'll be fine. Right Charlie Rabbit are we nearly ready? Got to get some SD cards today. Totally run out. memory cards got two more now we're off in search of breakfast aren't we Charlie we are and we asked in Tesco and they've recommended a place called break time which is on the industrial estate break times on the left Customers can park here, can't they? Yeah, of course we can. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? That's good for an industrial estate, yeah. Yeah, well, good business to be yeah, had here. Definitely. Now, this all looks very tasty. What would you pick? A lady with a little baby has sat next to us. I think the baby's a little bit excited about its first venture into the cafe. Only got photos, I'm afraid. I don't know what went wrong there. So, you enjoyed your breakfast? That breakfast was first class and so was the service. Yeah. And the whole setup was excellent. Wasn't yeah, it's very friendly. Lovely and clean, not what you'd expect on an industrial estate. No, not at all. I yeah. thought it was going to be some sort of greasy spoon. Yeah. <laughs> but everything was perfect, wasn't it? Including the toilets, they're yes. all spotlessly clean. Lovely.
Up ahead is the pass of Aberglaslin, which follows the course of the river. This is the A498 to Beth Gellert. We stopped in a lay-by to take a look at the river. tracks belong to the Welsh Highland Railway, which runs steam trains. We've arrived nice and early, so the car park is almost empty. If we can, we always leave the van parked in the shade. Beth Gellert is a small community in the Snowdonia area of Gwynedd. In the 2011 census, the population stood at 455 people. Beth Gellert is reputed to be named after a legendary hound called Gellert. And we're going to take a walk along the river and we'll tell you more about Gellert later on. The bridge here is spanning the river Glaslin and the town stands in a small valley at the confluence of the river Glaslin and the river Colwyn. This is the Church of St. Mary. One of the best known and loved folk tales in Wales is the story of a faithful hound called Gellert. In the 13th century, Prince Llewellyn the Great had a palace at Beth Gellert. The prince enjoyed hunting and spent much of his time in the nearby forests. He had many hunting dogs, but one day when he summoned them with his horn, Gellert didn't appear. Eventually, when he returned from the hunt, the prince was greeted by Gellert, whose jaws were dripping in blood. A horrible thought went through the mind of the prince and he suddenly thought of the safety of his one-year-old son. The horror deepened when he looked in the nursery and saw the blood-soaked upturned cradle of his son. He searched for the boy but couldn't find him and then came to the conclusion that Gellert had attacked and killed him. Mad with grief, he took his sword and plunged it into Gellert's heart. And as Gellert howled, Llewellyn heard the faint cries of his son coming from underneath the cradle. Throwing the cradle aside, the prince saw the body of an enormous wolf that Gellert had killed. Llewellyn was struck with remorse and carried the body of his faithful dog outside the castle walls and buried him where everyone could see the grave of this brave animal and hear the story of his valiant fight with the wolf.
After paying our respects to Gellert, we continued our walk down along the river towards a bridge where the steam railway crosses. We took the opportunity to try the Seeker app to identify some flowers. Dog rose. Do not recognise it. No, dog rose. Dog rose. Yeah. They were on the other side, it'd be easy. There were a few photographers here and we were all trying to take photographs and video of various things. More by luck than judgement, we were in time to see the steam train pass. Hello there. Morning, mate. Oh, coming through the middle. You're well. <laughs> Once we'd seen the train, we looped back over the other side of the river and walked back to the car. And here we are just on the outskirts of Beth Gellert and the place is really starting to get busy. This service is the Glaslyn Venturer, which runs from Porth Maddock to Beth Gellert. Thought I'd keep quiet during the steamy bits, as some people just want to hear the sound of the engine. Yeah. Now, who wouldn't want to sit here and enjoy a little picnic while trundling along the river? Without doubt, this little salon on the end of the train is the premium seats. The engine has moved from the back of the train to the front, ready for the return journey to Porth Maddock.
Right, looks like they're ready to move, and so must we, because our ticket is running out in the car park. I'm desperate for a drink, so... I think there's water in here. Mmm. Oh, that stays nice and cool in there. That's lovely. Is it just they're trying to park just or trying what? To park. So we got a large motorhome no, here. Seems to be having a bit of a difficulty. I should imagine this type of snarl up happens a lot during the summer. I bet he wishes he had a little red camper. I don't know now. It's because it's so thick with traffic having built up behind the coach because mm, no the coach them. would have been going very slowly yes, anyway wouldn't yeah. he so he's collected all of this plus there might be some big vehicles yeah there's a big van coming through now All you've got to do is take it slowly. We now need to shift our focus to finding somewhere to stay tonight. studying criminal damage. Thanks so much for watching. If the video deserves it, give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.